Hey, good morning, good morning. Um, wow, there's only six of you. What is going on? <laughs> it's, uh, you know, the class size. This is, you know, I only see this usually in CS2C. Um, CS2C usually starts off really, really strong with lots and lots of students. Um, but many of the students basically discover that they're out of their depth because they didn't do a, you know, they didn't master all of the material in 2A and 2B and somehow got a pass. I don't know how. And, and so they realize that and they drop out. So 2C two, two tends to go to half the class size. Uh, but you guys won't have any problems, right? Because if you keep up the same level of engagement and, uh, and progress that I'm seeing in CS2A all the way to CS2C, you know, you won't have a problem. And a lot of my 2C uh, students are, um, you know, as, as saying, oh, you know, I, I, it's, it's really hard. You got to start like a couple of weeks before the quarter starts and, and do these things. Um, you know, uh, and I, I told them that's only for people who didn't do 2A and 2B properly, right? They, they just squeak through. Um, they're the ones who have to work like two, uh, two weeks before the class starts and, and prep. And so you guys won't have any problems if, if you go, if you decide to do the full track. Uh, all right. So why, uh, why is it that uh, there's only, um, you, know, all the, you know, most of the regulars are here, I think. Uh, so we can we can actually get started coding. Um, in fact, what we'll do is we'll pick up last class uh, last classes code. Well, you know what? Maybe was was last class to um, did, did the last class scare people away or something like that? You know, uh, or was it to uh, you know uh, why why is it? Because you know attendance is important in this class and. Uh, uh, yeah, you got to, you know, if you have a network of students, you know, if you meet with students outside, you got to ask them, find out why the hell are they not getting a good grade when they're able to, right? These, these, the students who are not uh, regulars and, uh, and not uh, doing their work properly, they're probably going to fail or get a C or something really bad that's going to tank the GPA. It's not going to be worth it at all. And so uh, you got to ask them, well, you know, why, why are they enrolled in this class? Is it because of financial aid that might get cut off or a, a visa? Uh, you know, uh, if you drop a certain number of classes, you get deported. I, you know, so many reasons could be there. Oh, family issues too, right? So they might have family issues. Or, you know, COVID like o Omar, right? You could get COVID um, and, uh, or any kind of sickness. But still, I'm very, um, I would like to see more uh, students in class. Um, I, I understand that it does get challenging with, uh, with every passing week. Yeah, anyway, so what we'll do today, uh, I think, is we'll take what uh, we coded last class. Uh, maybe Hannah can code today, right? Uh, Hannah, you haven't coded, obviously. You know, <laughs> every week we say, you know, we'll, you code later. Uh, so you can, are you able to code today? I can hear you. I can hear nobody can. I think I can hear. Can you guys hear? Yeah, your speaker's on. Or something. No, can can hear you. Maybe like log on with your a phone or iPad or something else for audio. If this one, whatever you're using, isn't doesn't have audio. It looks like I you know. Um, you you have a recent computer, right? You have a recent uh, Mac or a PC, Hannah. Oh, uh, so Hannah's saying something here. Uh, sorry, I don't have my regular. Yeah, sure, you can code next class. Don't worry. Okay, is is that okay? You can code next class. Um, right. So the reason I thought we can code this class was because um, I was thinking we'll take the code that we developed last class. Elijah, Elijah coded last class, and he actually sent me email saying he won't be able to make it today because of something else. Um, but so we we can take his code and and develop it more to look more like this SDL library that you have been using in that snake game that you developed. Yeah, and I thought you'll actually have fun doing that because you know you use the SDL library, but here you're gonna implement something that is going to give you some of the functionality, 
of that library. So you actually know what's inside the, you know, behind the scenes there. But you know, you, you can do that next class also, that's fine. Hey, Yuyan, you never coded. Yeah, are you able to code? Okay, yeah, hands up. I think there was a thumbs up, yes? So yeah, uh, so uh, yeah, yeah. Pick, pick up the screen whenever you're able to uh, share a, a private or an incognito window, and then we can go from there. Uh, and by the way, Karthik, you did code. Yeah, I remember like three or four classes ago, you did code. Uh, I, you're, and you're better now, I hope. Uh, Erica, you have a question? Yes, I did have a question. Um, Because last class, you were asking us to implement like draw rectangle or draw stickman, but only having the two top left and bottom right. Did you mean yeah, like yeah, a yeah. number or like a coordinate? Because I was. You need coordinates. You need two. Yeah, you know, I was like, there's no. Numbers. Yeah, okay. X1, Y1, X2, Y2. Yeah, you got to give the... That's what I thought. But then, like, when the like the way you stated it, I was like, wait, like, what if it's, like, some other complicated way to have two numbers? But I, no. I was never thinking it. But, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. In fact, you know, uh, chances are other people might okay. also have uh, gotten confused. So you can clarify that in the forums if you if you think that's appropriate. And, and um, yeah, it's it's actually pretty easy. Uh, in yeah, fact, no, we'll yeah, with four, with four, it was easy. So I was like, what if it was two and harder? But um, that was, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's called uh, that thing, uh, the, the top left and bottom right uh, coordinates. That is actually a, a very common um, thing that people use in programming. It's called the bounding box. It's a, it's a bounding box of any picture, uh, any picture. Um, you, you, uh, for example, you may have a complex pair. It may not be made up of geometric shapes, right? You know, our stick man has all geometric shapes, like a circle for a head and a, a line for hands and a torso and all. Yeah, but you could have a complex shape, like a snake or something, and uh, that could uh, not be uh, very uh, easy to represent by way of what is called a vector. You know, vector. Uh, uh, it's a different. The word vector is a different terminology there. So when, when I say a graphic picture is composed of vectors, uh, that is not the same as saying it's composed of, you know, an array like vector. That's not what it says. When people say it is a graphic and it's made up of vectors, what they mean is that, you know, it's a big picture, you know, 4,000, 4,000 uh, pixels and all. However, uh, what's contained in this picture is not stored in the form of little dots. Usually if you take a photograph, if you take a photo and look at the photo and store it on a, that's why photo files are so big, you know, video files and photo files are so big because they actually encode every single dot, every single dot in your picture. If you take a magnifying glass and look at your photo, you can actually see the individual dots. Yeah. So each one of those dots is coded as a number and stored in a file. And that is why the photo files, you know, image files are so big. And that's because it's a pix, it's called a bitmap. Okay? Each bit is a pixel. It's a bitmap, right? So, so that is why it's so big. However, if, if it is composed of all geometric pictures, you can actually simplify uh, the, the representation enormously and also the processing. Because previously, what used to take 4,000 times 4,000, that's you know, 16 megapixels of data. Uh, suppose it had like five circles in there, that's all, five circles, right? I can instantly say that this picture um, is not 4,000 by, it is 4,000 by 4,000, but it actually consists of one circle there uh, with a center at uh, four comma seven and and a and a radius of uh, seven, right? Uh, another there's another circle uh, center of uh, two thousand five hundred comma fifteen hundred and and a radius of one hundred. So I can just say that this picture has ten circles and these are the uh, you know uh, dimensions of the circle. And how many bytes would that need, right? So I'm, I'm looking at you know uh, four floating point numbers plus uh, another floating point number for the radius. No, two floating point numbers and a floating point number for radius. So that's uh, 16 bytes plus another 16. So uh, 16 bytes, uh, you know, four plus four of a four floating point. So eight plus eight uh, plus another eight. So uh, 24 bytes, right? Each circle can just be stored in 24 bytes, no matter how big it is, because all you need is just a dot and, and the radius. And then you can recreate it in software in the, in the algorithm instead of taking out each. So that is called a vector representation of picture. And what they do is when, uh, when they want to, uh, when, when programmers typically want to store a large picture made up of vectors, they'll basically just list all the vectors, right? So there is a circle uh, uh, centered here with a radius there. There's a line centered here, not a line uh, end points here. And so, so they'll just give a list of these and that will be like, you know, 100 bytes, 200 bytes. Compare the size, okay? 100 bytes or 200 bytes is store a 4,000 megapixel picture compared to, you know, a, a four gigabytes of data or four megabytes of data because it's storing individual dots. Yes, that's called the vector representation of pictures, not nothing to do with actually vectors and arrays. 
But so what, in fact, you know what, what we, we can do that. We can do that today. All right. So uh, since Omar is here too, I think we can do that. Um, what we'll do here is well, let's add one more method to this uh, thing that we've uh, created last class, which is really a screen. Uh, let me look at the code. Uh, uh, can, can you hit control plus one time, Yu Yang? Yeah, I, I think. Yeah, I think that's that's good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. So, also, can, uh, you see if it, can you see if it works too in your ID? Because I don't know if it was because of like Clang Tidy or something, but when I had it in my ID, it wouldn't, it, um, did like it didn't make the line through Elijah. Oh, oh, I see. All right, let's let's test it out before we go ahead and make some changes. Okay. Oh, wind main and all. Um, wow. Okay. So um, it's not linking. It's not linking. Your uh, VS Code setup is probably not um, not correct. Can you basically get a hello world to go? Can you get a? Can you just open a hello world project in VS Code and see if that works? Because yeah, it's, it's working. I forgot to save it. Oh, this is working. This code is working. Yeah, the second one should run. But what's in there? By the way, you can also fix the spelling for columns. C O L U M N S, right? There were the blue underline on line 74. Yeah. Columns. C O L U M N S. Yeah. Um, so it, it is working now, yes? Yeah, I think it is. Okay. All right. So uh, why is it not printing anything? Why is it not printing Elijah? I, I thought we did something print. there. Hmm? Oh, it is. It is. It, it that uh, horizontal line with J A H at the end. That's, that's yeah. uh, Elijah. Is it? I see. Okay. All right. Um, what is that slash C? Uh, the C twenty three. What is a C two 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 three? Oh, and I modules. named it. Hmm? Oh, I just named the the file. See. Oh, oh, I see. I see. You know, uh, after line seventy nine, just do a C out and L. So after line 79, uh, yeah, to see out Endel, uh, see out left shift Endel, run it now. Maybe that, you know, um, final name won't run into the Elijah anymore. Why it, it is still running into, why is it saying modules? Oh, oh, put the, put the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put, put that thing uh, above, you know, put, put the thing, see out Endel above the my screen. Um, put a see out Endel right at the beginning also. Uh, yeah, leave it there. Put another one right at the beginning. Yeah, see out Endel there. This one? Hmm? Yeah, okay. All right. I, that's what I was guessing was going on. Um, it, it was basically just, backtracking on because there, because there was no end up it just uh <laughs> drew on the same line um so that that seems to work okay great excellent all right so here's what i am thinking we can do today let's create one more method called um draw bounding box okay i oh, know draw draw um draw pixel map we'll call it pixel map not bounding box okay pixel map and this pixel map is essentially just going to be a rectangular grid, okay? Uh, let's say 50 by 25 or something like that, right? 50 columns by 25 rows, you know, or 50 columns by 10 rows or whatever it is. And each column is essentially just going to have the exact character that is going to come on screen. It's just going to appear on screen at those positions, right? And, and that is our bounding box. And that is essentially what we'll say, you know, uh, draw bounding box. Here is the bounding box. It'll take that, go to that location, and just basically draw all of those pictures. That's all, right? Now, uh, here, I'll give you an example. And after that, uh, we'll need Omar's um, help, but we'll, we'll we'll get back to that, OK? So uh, let's go to um, go to the top of the file for a second. Go to the top of the file, all right? Uh, and uh, right, no, right, right at the top, right at the top. And uh, yeah, OK? Um, Oh yeah, yeah. All right. So uh, under under uh, after line three, hit enter. After line three, hit enter, and put another comment saying uh, class code uh, continued on on Feb twenty. What is it? 23, 24 today. Twenty 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 third. Yeah, Feb. Right. So and on the next line, we're gonna say uh, we'll extend uh, we'll extend this class to handle the drawing of a pixel map, right? A pixel map, which is basically a rectangular, uh, rectangular array of um, 
of pixels. <laughs> right? And okay, All right now, uh, start a comment there again. Start a comment under under that, uh, and, and then say example, example, uh, example for testing, example for testing purposes, example for testing purposes. All right on the next line, say open a comment. Uh, uh, and then uh, what we want to do is uh, start a double code, start a double code. And um, yeah, all right, start a double code and, and put um, 10, uh, do 10 spaces inside the double code. Yeah, just put 10 spaces in there. Is that 10 spaces? All right, make that make that uh, uh, make that uh, twenty maybe maybe uh, no uh, maybe may, yeah make make that uh, make that fifteen yeah all right, 20, 20. 20 is good twenty is good twenty looks good now uh, copy that entire line and paste it um, ten times ten times horizontally or next line yeah yeah like that like that like that great great excellent excellent all right now what we want to do is inside of this uh, thing here, um, just put random dots in there, right? Uh, random dots or uh, say, you know, at some place you can say Yuyang, right? Say, yeah, and then say Yuyang somewhere, right? Uh, type Yuyang, um, right? Uh, and, and then you got to line up all the, uh, you know, uh, quotes to make sure it's exactly the same. So later on, you can finish all this and do that later. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so and, and then and draw some thoughts, dashes right? there, you know, just create some gibberish uh, picture, yeah? Um, Okay. Now you can imagine um, that, uh, and also put 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 uh, do something on the last line also, just to make sure that we you know, when it when it displays, we know that everything is showing on screen. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, and in fact, uh, just so it's very very clear, uh, put a plus on the four corners of this thing, so that you know when it prints on screen, so we know. All right, everything is in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent, excellent. Okay. All right. Great. Now, uh, what we'll do is, um, all right. So uh, our vector. Okay. So tell me, is this this concept is um, you got to tell me if this is if this is all okay. Okay. So what what we're going to use is a vector of vectors, okay? So it is a two-dimensional vector. <laughs> you know, we got a two-dimensional picture. We're gonna use a two-dimensional vector. It's like super duper easy and straightforward. There's nothing magical about two. a two-dimensional vector. In fact, what is a vector? A vector is an array. A vector is basically an array of similar things. Yes, the vector of integers, vector of characters and so on. Exactly, isn't it? Yeah, is everybody okay with that so far? Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I'm, you know, nobody's, um, you know, all right. So I, I need to get some feedback, okay? So vector of vector is basically that vector, which is a vector of characters, 10 of those vectors in a vector, okay? So the first element is a vector of 10 characters. The second element is a, another vector of 10 characters and so on. So we have 10 of those. So that's essentially what it is. So, and you can index into it just like you do anything else, right? So you can index into, I wanna to go to the fourth vector and the sixth character in the fourth vector, okay? So you basically say, pixmac, pixmap square bracket four, that takes you to the fourth vector. And then the sixth character in there is pixmap square bracket four, square bracket five, right? So that will take you to, so essentially that's, what, that's all it is. Okay, so that's what we want we're gonna do. Uh, yeah, 10 vectors of, uh, yeah, 10 vectors of 20 chair vectors. Yeah, excellent, excellent, that's fantastic, okay? Um, and by the way, um, yeah, it looks, looks, looks all right, okay? Now you already know, by this time, you probably already know how we're gonna do this, uh, uh, you know, how we're gonna draw this, okay? All we need to do is essentially go to the top left location of the vector on the screen, okay? And then print out the first vector and then go to the next location under that print out the next vector and you're gonna do that 10 times and you're done, right? Or, you know, the, the size of the vector and you're done. And and so in fact, what we'll do is, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, well, we'll put a comment there too, put a comment on the next line, on the next line. Uh, so to print this vector on a screen, to print this vector on a screen, we basically have to iterate through the rows vector Uh, on the next line, on the next line. Uh, and for each row, 
And for each row, we can iterate through the columns of that row, printing out each character at the corresponding location. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can actually break up that line into, yeah, there you go. And there's a space before the comma that you can get rid of too. Uh, all right, so, um, so that's what we're gonna do. In fact, what we'll do is we'll try and implement the method to uh, lay out a bounding box and then go ahead and fiddle around with you know, sample bounding boxes and all. And at that time, um, I would like for uh, Omar, because he's got some graphic skills and all, uh, to, uh, to um, hey, uh, can you open a browser, uh, Yu Yang? Um, can you open a browser um, and uh, a private uh, incognito browser? And uh, what we want to do is Google for um, a interactive icon editor or something. Oh no, no, you, you share share the share the uh, browser window too if you, if you can, please. Yeah, uh, interactive icon editor, icon editor. I think there's a bunch of them online. Yeah, X icon editor, check, let's take, take a look. How, how, that's 32 by 32. Can you change it to from, from 32 by 32 to, um, actually 32 by 32 should be okay, maybe. No, that's, no, change it to, uh, can you change the size at all? Can you change the size to 16, 32, 64, let's do 64 by 64. Is that what you've got now? 64 by 64? Okay, now uh, click click inside that, uh, click inside the grid anywhere. Great, great. Wow, you know that, the pixels are so tiny. We can actually go to 32 by 32, I'm sorry. Yeah, 32 by 32. What, you know, uh, you know uh, well, we need, we need, um, we need a, a bitmap editor that, well, let's, let's do 32 by 32, all right? So, uh, all right, so here, within this 32 by 32 frame, um, we need to click, and make sure that we, we can you draw can you draw a circle with your mouse on top not not right there you know you can clear that you can clear that draw a circle there um draw can you draw a circle oh you can actually they they actually have icon they have uh, tools for drawing an entire circle and all oh so oh great great okay so you can use these tools uh, and uh, create some uh, um, oh, it's grayscale. It's it's got this uh, it's got this fuzzy. We only need uh, we we only need uh, to to um, you know black and white, not grayscale. Can can we get black black and black and white instead of grayscale? Uh, just just two two colors. Yeah yeah okay. Um, and so all right. So here's what we want to do. So we want to create a bitmap like this uh, of using your mouse. Of 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 uh, of us. Not a, it doesn't have to be a stick man. It could be any picture. I'm thinking what we can do is create a create a human there, uh, right? Uh, standing, uh, not not you know a full fledged human, a stick man kind of human. Uh, yeah, right there. And uh, and then we can create two frames. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> well, well, okay. Well, you know, hey, well, Omar will probably uh, yeah like this. But you can. But we don't. What we want is essentially when you've got this here, we want to have the exact same thing done in our ASCII. Uh, in, so inside of that thing that we did, you know, where the, the Yu Yang types some junk in there. So basically we want to put characters in there saying, well, you know what? We want, uh, you know, a star here, 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 you can make a circle and so on. You can use this to guide um, your intuition as to where to put these dots in, in, in there, okay? As an example, if, if Yu Yang goes back to his code, I can show you, right? So once you've got an idea of where the dots should be, I think 32 by, 64 is, is too big. Is this 64? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, eight, eight, four is 32. Um, I think 24 by 24 might actually be better. Did it do 24 by 24? Um, one, two. No, the, the coloring is kind of weird. It doesn't take up, you know, you see that black, uh, so, so half of the, not the entire square. You can, yeah, yeah, hey, uh, get rid of that black and white thing. You know, I think it's not spanning exact cubes, uh, you know, exact squares. It's going, it's spilling out of boundaries and all. So okay, yeah, we want, yeah, that's what I wanted. Yeah, uh, so four, 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 four. Uh, and then why is that, uh, why is the, why is the last, squ last uh, square not shown fully? Uh, so you got four, four oh, 24, uh, no, five, one, two, three, four, 
Oh, it's five, is it? It's just one, two, three, four, five. Oh, five, 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 24. Oh, I see. It's not in four, 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 uh, six, you know, five, right. So it's 24. Uh, now you can um, make sure that all of them is, they are just white and then you can draw there. Um, and, and, and then you should only draw with the black and no green or anything, right? So uh, black and white only. Well, I guess, you know, Omar can figure out either this side or some other side you can figure out. So uh, what we need essentially is to draw a picture there. And uh, when we draw that picture there, we want to go back to the code that Yu Yang has. Uh, Yu Yang, can, if you can go back to your code, if you can go back to your code, um, Yeah, right. So you see that thing there uh, that within quotes and all you got the uh, that stuff. So that is essentially um, that's where we want a picture. We want a picture of a person right there inside of that using dots. In fact, you don't have to use stars. You can use many characters. You can you use star. You can use plus. You can use question marks. You can use a full stop period. You can do all of that. You just we just need a. a Nice looking, um, you know, person in there. Okay, so uh, now uh, once we've once we've got that, we'll basically do uh, we'll implement the method and say, hey, here's a bitmap. Go ahead and draw it. Okay, and and, and we'll go ahead and draw it. And uh, you can do it either as a vector of strings because, or you can use it, uh, or we can do a vector of vectors. In fact, what we'll do is we'll do a vector of vectors, a uh, vector of strings. I think that's easier. So you're going to have, ten, you know, 10, 10 strings and each string is going to be 10 characters wide. I think that's actually easier. Okay, then using vector of vectors. All right, great. Okay, now let's go to the uh, methods. Well, let's go to the methods uh, of uh, the screen, right? We'll add one more method. Okay, so um, yeah, under 50, under 50, hit enter on under 50, under line 50, and say um, bool um, um, draw bounding box at, right? Draw bounding box at, uh, draw bounding, I think that's, yeah, draw bounding box. Yeah, I think uh, I was I was worried the name of the program, the function might be too big. And here uh, you would say uh, the first parameter is going to be const, const, space, vector, vector, V-E, vector. And then within angle brackets, say string, okay? Vector, string, vector of string, angle brackets, angle brackets. Within angle brackets. No, 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 within angle brackets, just say string. So uh, get rid of uh, all of that. Yeah, get rid of that. Not square brackets, no, angle angle brackets. Yeah. No, not parentheses either. It's gotta be an angle oh, brackets. Greater than or equal than sign? Greater than, greater than, great, yeah, greater than and less than, yeah. Less than, and, and right, and, and it says string in there. Uh, and, and then a space, space, ampersand, ampersand, uh, and then say, uh, no, immediately after the ampersand, say pix map. Pix map, right? Pixel map or something like that. Pix map. Pix map. Yeah, comma. Do we need anything else? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and of course, we need the uh, top left and bottom, uh, you know, top left, top left only. Uh, so what we'll say there is, um, yeah, just say x1, y1. Um, yeah, size t, x1, size t, y1. Size t. Okay. Uh, and space after the comma. Great. Okay. So, uh, and now let's go ahead and implement this function, right? And then we'll be able to use it too. So, uh, Omar, uh, so uh, you can, uh, if, if you know what we're going to do now, you can actually keep one eye on what we're doing and the other eye you can design your man. Uh, so essentially what we need is basically that, uh, you know, rectangle of uh, strings. We need a picture of a man inside of that. Okay. Uh, and I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll create a simple animation. We need two, two or three frames like that. In one, there is just a, a, a person like that. Okay. A stick man like that. In another, uh, in, in uh, another frame, maybe uh, his uh, hand uh, is not pointing downwards. Hand is up here. Okay. Uh, and, with, and picture number three is hand is up here. And picture number four, hand is like this. Right. And I'm thinking uh, the, the reason I'm saying that is because one hand, not both hands. Okay. Not hands up. Like, you know, and I'm saying that is because we can actually do a little movie. Right. We can do a little movie where this man uh, is, uh, you know, uh, standing there and over four seconds, or, you know, we can in inject a, you know, delay like, you know, Eric did. And uh, so we can say um, we can have that man uh, raise 
his hand like that and say hello from earth or something like that <laughs> hello aliens from earth or something like that okay we, we do you know like you know a very simple movie <laughs> that can go on a voyager uh on a dumb terminal on a voyager right because you know some, some stuff into space you can't have complex graphics gotta have really really simple technology so yeah um you know that thing happening uh, a yeah, simple program and it's sure. actually animation too, right i think it's be really cool I've never, so with this you know, I, like, even like move him too yes yes we totally move them too right because you can have a bounding box that's rectangular not square Okay, and in that rectangular, and, and you can have five frames, five rectangular frames like that. And in the first frame, the person is here. And the second frame, the person is here and maybe, you know, held head tilted and hand different position. And you can have many frames like that. And all we have to do is show the first frame, okay, and, and then clear the first frame. Uh, no, show the first frame, sleep for, I don't know, 50 milliseconds, then clear the first frame, show the second frame, sleep for 50 milliseconds. And, and basically we have to cycle through the frames and clear the frame, show a new one. Clear the, and that'll actually create a nice animation effect, I think, right? <laughs> we haven't tried it, but we, let's try it and we'll, uh, we'll find out, okay? So, um, and now uh, what we wanna do is let's put comments on line, yeah, go to line two, 92 and hit enter, uh, line 92 and hit enter. Uh, yeah, so let's say um, uh, this will draw, this will draw uh, 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 um, the rectangular array the rectangular array of characters stored in the vector of strings, um, starting uh, with 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 uh, x one y one as the top left. No, you don't say starting. Let's just say with with x one y one as the top left. That's all. Okay. So uh, and now uh, what we'll do is let's go inside of this function now. Uh, on line 96 uh, and let's say what we want to do is oh we have to pass a screen oh no this is a method so it'll be called on the screen okay so uh, let's do some checks first right let's do some checks to make sure that um, it'll actually show on the screen so um, if uh, so what we want to do is uh, well x1 y1 this is zero right so we don't need to check to see if it's out of the out of the screen because it'll start at zero what we want to do is uh, the length of the string and the number uh, well, we'll get to that later. Okay, so put a to do there, right? So put a to do there. Uh, yeah, to do uh, uppercase to do uppercase to do so the compiler can pick it up. Yeah, uh, to no all uppercase all all uppercase. I think that's what they look for. Okay. Um, uh, uh, yeah, do uh, to do a uh, check check to check to check to make sure that the uh, rectangle will be contained on screen. If not, return false right away. Right on screen and as screen no on on screen on screen uh, on 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 screen uh, and uh, and the next line yeah i think all right great okay now that we're not going to do that we'll do that later on but we just put it there so that we need to do that now uh, so uh, one one more blank line and then we'll start the logic of our method here now uh, we want to say what what methods do we have? What methods do we all we have right string at? We have right string at. Okay, great, great, great. I think that is that is great. We have right string at. Okay, all right. So uh, we need essentially. Oh, this is, this is my function is going to be so simple. I think right. Um, well, we'll we'll find out more in a complex and not not complex, more interesting stuff to do, right? But this is I, I think is going to be quite easy, right? So we're going we need a loop which is going to loop over all of the strings in the vector. Right, and except that it prints the first string at x1 comma y1, the second string is going to print at x1 comma y1 plus one, okay, which is the next row. The third string is going to print at x1 comma uh, y1 plus two. So every element is just going to offset to the next line and print the string there. That's all. Okay. So um, what we'll do is a for size t i equals um, for size t i equals uh, x1 x1 no no y1 y1 why is the why is the column why is the column no why no why is the why is the why yeah, yeah. hey <laughs> i keep you know because i'm using x and y um, we need to go down so that's why start at y okay start at y and then y1 y1 plus 1 y1 plus 2 y1 plus 3 and so on okay All right so x1 uh now uh in fact, say y uh, i equals uh, an i equals zero. Just do i equals zero. i equals zero, 
um, uh, zero, uh, semicolon, uh, I less than, I less than, I is less than, uh, space less than, space less than. No, no, not, 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 not Y1, okay? Uh, so so I, I space less than space, right? Um, now we wanna say um, pixmap dot length, okay? Pixmap dot length. No, I think it's size, but it's a vector, isn't it? So pick, picks map dot size, picks map dot size. Yeah, uh, and then you need a semicolon after the closing parentheses there. There you go, right? Uh, and then there's an extra space after the I plus plus, you can get rid of that. Okay, now here, uh, what we wanna do is a screen 2D. Oh, I see, we are already inside the screen. Sorry, so no, no, uh, hang on. So can we go to the uh, method that says right? Oh, there it's right about. Right, so screen 2D, uh, all right, row, uh, sorry, um, see out. Hey, uh, right string at, why is it not positioning the, oh, it is, it is positioning the cursor. Uh, at column, comma, row. Okay, here's what we're going to do, right? We're going to refactor it slightly because, you know, I was just confused by looking at this code that, you know, we wrote together last class. And I was confused uh, because we didn't, one small thing, right? Is this small thing that we, in, in the factoring of the code, we could have done it slightly better. Here's what we're gonna do, all right? So um, we're gonna come back to this. Uh, Yuan, go, go up to the methods again, go to, go to the methods again. Um, all right, so what we wanna do, oh, right string at takes X uh, column and row, column and row. Oh, so that that is, uh, I think we're good then. I, I'm, I'm sorry, Yuyang. Go, go, go back to the code. I think we can figure We can figure that. All right. So uh, where is that code we're writing? Yeah. Okay. So what we want to do is uh, say write string at, write string at. Yeah. Write string at. Um, and then uh, it was, it was a column comma row. I think it was column comma row. Yeah. So we want to say a uh, column. Uh, given column. So what is the column that's given to us? Uh, column is X, X1, X1, yeah, X1, comma, um, yeah, X1, uh, Y1 plus I, Y1 plus I. Yeah, comma, uh, comma, and then what we want to print right there is, yeah, PixMap square bracket I. And semicolon right there. I, I, you know what? I think that's basically it. Uh, we don't, we, you, don't, you don't even need the curly braces and all. That's it. Um, yeah, get rid of the curly braces. Um, yeah. And, uh, and then you can just return true there. Return true for now because uh, it's done it. I, wanna, I just want to run it in my head uh, and put a blank line before the return true so that you know, it separates from the logic. Um, I think that's it. Um, but you guys should also be thinking with me to see if that's enough to draw that entire vector. Oh, where is, why is PixMap underlined in blue? Why is PixMap underlined in blue? This will draw the rectangle. No, no, well, why the PixMap, the word PixMap is under, uh, underlined in red. Why is it underlined? Oh, why view problem, unknown word. I don't know. Yeah, I think your VS Code is looking for things that um, not related to C++ maybe. Did we have to do like the screen screen 2D semicolon semicolon to call it or can it just? Good question, but no, right? Here, this is a good question. Erica says, uh, was it Erica who asked the question? I, it was me. Yeah, I wasn't looking at the screen. Okay, so, uh, so Eric is asking, uh, well, you know, you're saying right string at, but where do we write it? Uh, do, do we write it, which screen do we write it? Yes, uh, so that's the question. So she's asking, um, do we need to put my screen dot write String at is uh, that's what she's asking. So here, uh, and this is we didn't cover last class, okay? And uh, we didn't cover that last class. And um, there is this implicit parameter, okay? There is this implicit parameter. Uh, implicit meaning that, that there's uh, the current screen object is being passed into this method, whether you see it or not. So it is the first parameter. It's an invisible first parameter. So because when this method is called, draw brown bounding box at. In main, you're going to say my screen dot draw bounding box. Yes or no? When you call this in main, right? So if you go go to your main, go to your main now. We'll actually call it and and say uh, and in fact get rid of all of that. Get rid of uh, you know except everything except uh, yeah. Get rid of no. no uh, we need the screen declaration. Oh, let's just say right on the next line. Get rid of the couts also. Get rid of the couts. 
yeah. Uh, uh, all right. Now, uh, and let's say our screen is actually um, 100 by 100. Okay, let's make our screen 100 by 100. Do we, do you have 100 columns, 100 rows? No, let's make it 50 by 100, okay? 50, 50 rows and 100 columns because I think it will fit in your screen. All right, 50, uh, 50 rows and 100 columns. Yeah, all right, great. All right, now, uh, <clears throat> yeah, great. All good? Excellent. All right. So, um, so here is what we want to do is um, in our main um, on the next line, on the next line, on the next line, let's say um, vector, vector, and then uh, angle bracket string, angle bracket string. Uh, yeah, a, sp a space, space, my picture, my underscore picture, my underscore picture. And call it picture one. You know, I'll just call it picture for now. Okay. All right. Uh, equals equals curly brace, and then hit enter right there. Right, and put a semicolon after the colon, closing curly brace. Right now, that picture that you drew up there uh, in the comments, right at the top of the file with all the junk. Yeah, can you just copy that? Copy that and take it down. Uh, to the place, yeah, and then we have to remove the comment characters and all, and and we'll right uh, equals, yeah, yeah, and paste it there. Uh, now uh, remove all the common characters uh, and uh, and then put a comma after, yeah, put a comma, uh, and, and indent all of them in in they belong to the vector, so it needs to be four more spaces indented in, yeah, right. So put a comma at the end of each line. Hey, how did you do that? In, uh, so you can so you can just uh, bulk select and hit comma. And it puts a comma at the end of each line. Yeah, so you just hit the shift and alt and it selects like to the end of the line. Oh wow, yeah, <laughs> that's really cool. All right, okay. You know these new uh, IDEs have all these uh, fancy things. All right, so um, all right, so this is our picture. This is our picture, and when we draw this picture on screen, this is what we expect to see, right? Um, all right, so that's our picture. Um, and, and then put a, uh, uh, yeah, okay. You can get to the bl blank line at the very end uh, of that vector. All right, so now uh, go to the end of line 120 and hit enter. Uh, 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 yeah, one more. All right, now uh, we can say uh, my screen dot, my screen dot, I think it's my underscore screen, but yeah, dot uh, draw bounding box at, uh, open parentheses, and uh, what is the list? Yeah, I see this VS Code is really nice, isn't it? Because when you type, this is a function I want to call, it immediately gives you in a box, but oh, this is a list of parameters and this is the order in which you got to give it to them. This is really cool, right? So the first parameter is the pixel map. So we say my picture. And the second is where you want the picture to appear. And uh, let's say uh, we want to appear, we want the picture to appear at two comma two, right? So two pixels to the right and two pixels to the, uh, you know, uh, below, right? As a comma, as comma space. On a space, yeah, a semicolon after that, uh, and uh, so this is basically a test. So you can actually put a you know go to line one twenty one, hit enter, and say you know this is basically a, yeah, a, 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 and say a, put a comment there saying test call to make sure that this picture the, the test call to make sure um, uh, our picture appears on screen, right? The, our picture appears on screen. Yeah, thank you. Great, fantastic. Okay, now uh, we uh, let's also do one more before calling it because we know if we call this is going to work. I think it's going to work. Um, we'll do one more function. Is we want to say clear bounding box also. We want to you know, because that's way that's the way you can get an animation going because you can draw the picture, um, but before you show the next frame, you want to show clear the previous frame and then do it right. So we want to clear the picture. So uh, no, not not there. We want to define the method. So we, let's go to the place where you have all the methods uh, declared and say under that round bounding box thing, right? Uh, under show picks map. Yeah, draw bounding box. Right? This is a clear clear bounding box clear uh, bounding box. Uh, and here, what we want to do is uh, just say x1, y1, comma, x2, y2, right? x1, uh, size t, yeah, size t. x1, y1, comma, x2, y2. In fact, we can actually do better than that. We can do better than that, okay? Um, um, I have one, one sec, okay? Let me think about this. 
Yeah, I think we can do better than this, okay? So um, instead of clear bounding box and X1, the four corners, let's actually give it clear the bounding box off this PIX map. So uh, I'm gonna explain the logic and you guys tell me if you understand it. Otherwise we'll do it the regular way. The regular way is we give it, you know, X1, Y1, X2, Y2. And all it has to do is basically just go to each location and then make it a space, make it a space, make it a space. Everything is turned into a space and then the bounding box is cleared, okay? That is the, you know, one way to do it. What I'm saying we'll do is instead, uh, we, instead of giving it X1, Y1, X2, Y2, we'll give it the original PIX map itself. You know, this is the picture that you drew. It, it, it occupies a certain bounding box, clear this picture. Now, it, if, to do that, all it has to do is it simply does the same thing again. It's going to do the, the string. It's going to print each string, except that it'll only put a space in the string where there was already, there was, uh, where there was no space already. That's all we're going to do. We're going to implement that. We'll see it, right? So, um, so let's go and implement that method. You know, triple click the line, triple click the line and, uh, yeah, uh, and also also x1, y1. You need to have a size t x1, y1, size t x1, y1. Right now, triple click the line, copy it, and then we'll do the definition also, right? So uh, under, yeah, under that, under that. Uh, no, under, there, there you go, right? Uh, now, uh, right? <clears throat> yeah. Now, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think the name is, uh, yeah. Clear the box, okay. Right. So now get rid of the semicolon and put a uh, cur yeah, curly brace, uh, cur curly brace. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, and, and then copy that for uh, for loop, uh, the first for loop there and put it there. Okay. Now, uh, and, and then this is going to have an, a nested loop. Okay. So, uh, and, and then uh, we want to say, um, yeah, here's where, you know, we did, we did need that other uh, method that I was thinking of. We will actually get a chance to do it now, right? So, no, yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Uh, so, uh, but um, before you do that, before... Uh, Oh, I see. Maybe the method I'm thinking of is less efficient, but well, yeah, that's okay. We'll do it this way, and uh, and we can fix it later. So, for size t, um, uh, i equals zero. I equals zero. Oh, yeah, j, yeah, j equals zero. Thank you, thank you, Yu Yang. Okay, uh, and, and j less than j less than uh, pix map square bracket i dot length. Okay, now here is a square bracket i dot length. Now, because pix map square bracket i is a string, not a vector. Yes. So it has a length, not a size. It, that, that is, yeah, I don't know why. Historical reasons, maybe the strings have length and uh, containers have sizes. All the string is basically a container of characters. So that should also have a size. I think it's just historical. Okay. So uh, J plus plus. Now here, what we want to do is, um, is um, we want to go to a particular location and, 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 and put a space there if there is no space already. So what we want to do is uh, if, if, uh, if uh, if uh, pix map square bracket i uh, and then square bracket j no no square bracket j square bracket j that is a single character right so square bracket i takes you to, to the string that is a string square bracket i square bracket j takes you to that particular character inside of that string is is that okay so again we actually did have a chance to use two dimensional vectors here right that's all it is right so is not equal to space and now this space is actually not a string it is a single character so it needs to be in single quotes Right. Uh, so inside of the for statement now, uh, so inside of the for statement, you're going to say um, uh, uh, set location, right? Set location, set location. Oh, move to, move to, and call it move to, move to, move underscore to, move to, uh, open parentheses. You want to say, um, what? Uh, hang on. So uh, J, uh, I keep forgetting this X, X1. I know I is, uh, I is the, I is the row and J is the column. So we want to move to um, J comma, uh, no, no, we want to move to um, X1 plus J, X1 plus J, X1 plus J comma, Y1 plus I. All right, all right. So uh, now we uh, let's make sure that we are all on the same page here. And again, this needs to be checked for corner cases. We need to check this for corner cases. We'll do that all, you know, eventually. Um, move to and on the next line. On the next line, you want to say, um, how did we? How did we print the character? Uh, can you uh, uh, go up a little bit uh, further up? We want to see show show pixel set pixel or something like that. We had a set pixel call. 
Oh, set pixel actually moves and sets. So we don't even have to move to, right? So, um, all row char zero. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, in fact, yeah, go, go back to our method. We don't need to move to and all, right? We don't need to move to. We can basically say set pixel at, set pixel at, uh, pixel at. Um, and then what are the parameters for? Wait, why didn't VS Code automatically complete that and show us what the order of these parameters is? Why, why didn't VS Code uh, tell us here what the order of the parameters are? Uh, all right, never mind. Set pixel add. Uh, so we want to go, if, if it is not a space, then we want to go to um, X uh, again, you know. No, no, I think it's, uh, the, the order of parameters there is different. The order of parameters is, I think X1, I think it's row, column, and then the character. I think those are the three, that's the, that's the order of the parameters, yes? But, uh, what, what is the order for set pixel? Column, row, yeah, X, Y, and character. Okay, so what we want to do is uh, we want to go to uh, X, uh, set pixel act. The first parameter is X1 plus J. The first parameter is X1 plus J. No, no, no. First parameter is X1 plus J, not fixed map, square bracket. No, no, the first parameter itself, you, you got the word fixed map in front of it. Yeah, first, that is a location, X1 plus J. We're saying go to X1 plus J, comma, Y1 plus I. Y, so comma, Y plus Y1 plus I, comma, now you can say uh, pix map square bracket uh, pix map square bracket i and j right square bracket i All right. i can I, I appreciate i appreciate that this is um, i think that's basically all we have to do we do we need braces and all now uh, for the if statement we don't we get rid of the braces for the if statement we don't need it um, yeah, uh, and, and then we don't need the blank line after that. Yeah, I think that is uh, that is it. Uh, I can I I appreciate that this is slightly more complex than the code that we've dealt with before. So I'm happy to spend as much time as um, you know. Some some of you already know what's going on. I think you know Yu Yang probably knows what's going on. Rouge, and some of you already know. But I want to make sure everybody knows. Okay, and uh, so make sure that you understand what's going on here. With mindful of the fact that there are still corner cases that may not pass, right? Corner cases meaning, you know, edge conditions that we didn't account for, so the program crashes and all. But the, the overall logic is we want to make sure that everybody is okay with the overall logic. Uh, Omar also, if you if you can take a break from designing the man to, so we want to make sure that everybody understands this. All we're doing when we say clear the bounding box is we're going to that location. Well, yeah, we're, we're basically saying, uh, for each of the pixels, for each of the characters in a string, we're just going to that location. If it is a space, we don't do anything. If it is not a space, we go to the location and put put a space there. That way, that picture will be cleared. Yes. And and the way, and the location is determined by we give it the x one y one, which is the top left. Top left is x one y one, and then we're going to iterate so x one. Uh, that is the top left, and then j goes steps through that. Okay, J is going like that, and Y is going down like this. You know, I is going down like this. So that is the number of rows. The rows, the pix map rows, pix, if the pix map has 10 rows in it, 10, you know, the vector has 10 strings in it, that means it occupies 10 rows. Yes, 10 rows. So vector of one is the first row, vector of two is the second row. So I is, you know, pix map of, uh, pix, pix map of zero, pix map of one, pix map of two, each of those is string. Now, inside of those strings, we wanna go pix map of I, of zero, of one, of two, and so on, up to the length of the string. That essentially what it is. What it is. If you, you know, if you, if you can work this through, this through in your head, maybe you need a piece of paper and pencil to just do it one time, and then you'll get the hang of it, right? So that's basically what it is. Yeah, I think that's better. Yeah, column row. That is better. Thank you, Yu Yang. <laughs> you know, we should have made that change uh, in other places too. But um, uh, yeah, I think Yu Yang made a very nice change there. Okay. Uh, is that all? That's all we need to do for this. Clear bounding. We got clear bounding box. We got set pixel um, and right string at. Yeah. Uh, is is that it? Can 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 you guys? Um, um, and, and then we have that picture. I think when we run this, we should see that picture at that location. You know, of course, there could be errors in the code, but I think the logic is mostly correct. Uh, and you can you know uh, yeah you can clean up some of the blank lines above me. Okay, let's run it. Let's run it and see if it works. Okay, and um, 
Yeah. Uh, well, no, 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 don't clear it because if you clear it now, uh, what we'll do is draw the picture, make sure it's there, and then we'll clear it after a one second sleep or something. Yeah, thank, thank you. By the way, Yuyang is making some changes here um, that some of you may miss. Okay, like for example, he put a semicolon at the end of that list uh, of the vector and all um, that you may have missed. But these are things that everybody needs to be totally comfortable with because this is syntax, uh, especially people who are coming from other languages like Python and all. You got to get in the hang of saying, hey, you know what, put a semicolon there, uh, you know, open braces and, uh, and so on. And, and those things that just need to become second nature. And the only way that it can become second nature is if you're doing it yourself. If you're coding, it'll stick in your mind. But here, because Yu Yang is coding, you got to follow very closely and see, hey, he actually put a semicolon there and he, you know, nobody noticed. Okay, so uh, those are things that will embed themselves in your mind. Okay, so what is it? Vector of string, uh, no, no, what is the first error? What, oh, that is the error. Okay, clear bounding box, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, we just need to, uh, oh, what is this? Set pixel, oh, I see, I see, I see. Hang on, just one sec, okay. Where is the, uh, in, in function clear bounding box. Oh, uh, clear bounding box is not a method. Yeah, yeah, we need to uh, stick that screen uh, uh, 2D thing in front of it. So, uh, we have to qualify that function. Otherwise the global function, we wanna attach that function to the to the object that we created. Yeah, uh, to run it now. Well, I think we need a return true at the end because it's a, it's a, it's a yeah. Uh, I, I, oh, I see. Uh, 223. It's, it's 223. It says there's no, uh, well, no, what, what is it like? Uh, 114, line 114, it says no return statement. What? No return statement in function returning non void. You do have a return true there, yes? You have a return true. Why does it say no return statement there? Did you save it? Did you save it? Okay, we, we got to debug this. Um, okay, increase the size of the terminal so we can take a look. Um, and why no return statement? Oh, yeah, yeah, all right. So, no, where is the... Um, Xmap was not declared in the scope. All right. So it looks like a whole bunch of easy errors. Okay. So um, we can easily debug this, <laughs> you know, hopefully. But let's see what's going on here. Um, uh, yeah. You're moving a little too fast for me because of my, uh, I think, glasses, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I've just got to clear the terminal and then rerun it. Did you, did you compile it now? Yeah. So this is what's after it's been compiled. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, uh, great. It's, uh, there was no, there were no errors. I thought there were lots of errors before. Uh, yes. So sometimes, even if I save it, uh, the terminal I think still runs the previous ones. So or oh, maybe it was just terminated. the run still there on the terminal. You do, yeah. It, it wasn't. It wasn't errors from the new run. It was errors from the previous run. Maybe. Uh, yeah. All right. So uh, we forgot to do something. Where we show the picture uh, at the end of each string, we need to print a new line, right? Uh, so um, how do we need to print a new line? I think uh, go to the place where we show bounding box. Uh, where, where's the place where we show the bounding box? No, no, the, the method that shows the bounding box, draw, draw bounding box. No, no, that's okay. X1 comma Y1 pix map square bracket I. Um, oh, oh, oh yeah, X1 plus, uh, no, X1 and Y1 plus. Yeah, I think that looks all right to me. Uh, again, hey, uh, uh, Yu Yang, can you also make these row and column? <laughs> you know, I think uh, it will be easier for us. Uh, yeah, I just say. All right, and then. Okay, so it goes to that column and row plus i. It's not that size. It's not square bracket. I, um, that looks all right to me. Why did it print all of them on the same line? That is my question. It, it actually did work, but it printed a whole bunch of stuff on the same line. Uh, run it again, run it again. I wanna see uh, what's going on. Otherwise we'll just debug it too and see what, what is going on. Is it compiling now or is it running? Oh, it, it, it ran, it finished. It ran. 
And what are those numbers? Where did, did you John, type those numbers there, by the way? This is the last oh, line. It, it, oh, it, that's the last line. Oh, I see. It only printed the last line. It didn't do anything before that. I think it did overwrite itself. Or just the last no, one. it's a, it's it's not going to the next line, and uh, it's just it's not going to the next line. It's just overwriting everything on the same line. Can you can you just copy this entire thing? Do uh, copy it and go to online GDB, right? Because we know that it actually worked there. Um, I'm guessing that it's because of Windows. Who's Windows Ten? Uh, I thought Windows Ten honored ANSI codes in a proper way. But let's go to yeah, let's go to uh, online GDB and run it there because we know for sure that it did honor ANSI codes last time in a browser, yeah? And, and you got to share your browser too. Right. Oh, it's there? Okay. Uh, now, yeah, in, yeah. Run, 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 you did run run it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it's got three pluses on that line. What does that have three pluses? Um, all right. We're going to have to debug this now, right? And you guys can <laughs> debug it with me. Um, if why didn't it print the entire box? Okay, let's do this. Okay, let's do this. Um, to in your main, in your main, um, yeah. So uh, in your main, uh, further down, further down. Uh, let's say uh, my screen dot uh, my screen dot um, yeah there yeah there you go my screen dot um, uh, right string at I think it was called right string at yeah right string at uh, and then uh, say my picture what, what what are the parameters by the way for my right string at column row string okay so column row string so yeah let's do that so. Let's say a column um, X and Y column. Column is 100, okay, right. So let's say, uh, um, let's say right string at, yeah, two. Let's say right string at the second, the second row, second column, two comma two uh, comma, and then say um, my picture square bracket zero, my picture square bracket zero. Right, uh, and then copy that line. Um, yeah, put yeah, copy that line under it, under it one more time, and say uh, and now say two comma three, right? Two comma three, and and then say my picture uh, one, right? My my picture one. So it should print those two. Oh oh, uh, and comment out the one thirty nine. We don't want to. Maybe that's messing with. Yeah, comment out. So right. Oh, it printed the, what is it? It printed only the first one or the second one or both? Half of it. Okay, that's the first one. Now the second one should go uh, appear on the next line. Why is it not appearing on the next line? That is my question. It's appearing on the same line. So why is it not moving to the second line and, and printing the, well, that is the second line, isn't it? Yeah, and, if, and then if you run both, I think the second line is just overriding the first line. Why is it not moving to the second line and, and printing it there? That is my question. Um, why is it not moving to the second line? That's funny. Um, Can you chuck an end out in here somewhere? Hmm? You put a little and L somewhere in the, the right string at method. We don't really need and L because um, we are explicitly moving the cursor to another location. Yes, we we went to we went to a location, drew and drew, uh, 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 wrote a string there, and then we went to another location and wrote a string there. So we don't need an and L after that line. Yes, we wrote that string and then flushed, so that string should appear there. Um, so. Uh, yeah, go to, go to your main again. Go to your main one more time. Um, and let's say instead of two, 
let's say four comma four comma four instead of two comma two. No, in second 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 line for instead of two comma three, say four comma four. So let's run it now. Okay, all right. So that is good. I think what's going on here. So that that worked, yes. And um, oh no, it didn't work because you you see that. Uh, um, that uh, your uh, UA, UA is uh, not directly, is, yeah, it's not positioned the same way. It's not positioned the same way as that one. It's uh, it's uh, to the right of, oh, because it's four comma four, it went there. Okay, yeah, yeah, all right. So just say, just do a two comma four, it should appear, yeah, four comma two. Yeah, now it should be right exactly the same. Is it the same? It is the same. Um, four, two comma two, and then four comma two. Yeah, three comma two, yeah, three comma two. Yeah, yeah. Um, why did it not? Why is it not doing it in a loop? But it's uh, it, yeah, let's look at the loop again in 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 that in. in uh, no, the the yeah the one about yeah there you go. Uh, right string add. This is what we're doing essentially, isn't it? So you guys should also debug it with me, okay? This is what we're doing there. We're doing it step by step. It works there, but it doesn't work here. So uh, it's it's an interesting problem. Isn't it? So why is it that we're not able to do it in a loop? Um, right string add. Is it I comma J? We got the, yeah, in, in fact, here also, can you, um, it, there also, can you say, oh, you do have a row, a column and row and so on. Okay, column and row, right string add, uh, column, comma, row plus I, pick map square bracket I. That is our string, and it should have written it there. Uh, and why did it not write that string there? Copy that for loop and let's just put it inside our main, right? Copy that for loop, yeah, and take it to our main. And, and instead of the phone, instead of the function call, um, yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's what we want. Yeah, you can you can say just say put the put the loop there. And, and, and but here uh, ex, uh, uh, we have to say my screen dot my screen dot right string add no we're on line one thirty nine line line one thirty nine you say my string dot right string add my screen dot right string add call row plus i picks map square back yeah and and that should do this right so let's let's run it now let's run it now unless I'm you know unless I I'm making a really really silly mistake that I can't even uh, oh, call, um, just say, uh, you know, four, four comma four, right? You say, you say call, replace call by four and then the, the row also by four. Okay. Oh, it's not pix map, it's called um, my picture. Uh, can you increase the size of that um, uh, terminal? Wow, that's that's what I printed. That's really weird. All right, now let's un unfurl the loop. Okay, so uh, instead of the for now, comment out the for loop and comment out the for loop and but um, get that line, get that line inside the for loop. We want to copy that five times, right? Uh, yeah, comment out just the for part and we copy that five times. Copy that line five times. Yeah, one one under. Other. Right now, um, now four plus, uh, and, and then change the four plus i. Where do you have four plus i? Change that to four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's you know four, five, six, seven, eight, five rows. Four plus i can be four. Yeah, all right, fine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, I'm not able to figure this out here. Um, certainly, uh, something interesting for me to look at later. Uh, yeah, I think the row column got swapped. Oh, is it? Oh wow! Why? How come the row? I thought we got the row column right uh, the first time. So. Hang on. Well, so uh, see, this is a this is a problem when we have a, in C plus plus. You know, C plus plus. I don't think that C plus plus has a lot of problems, but it's one of the things that I've in the past thought 
could improve in C++ is named parameters. I think I mentioned this before. When we have parameters and, and, and then it's, we run to errors like this, we, the parameters are misordered and, and the function fails. And, and, and this won't happen if you just have named parameters. You give it in any order, but say this is the row, that's the column, and then you know things will happen okay. But still, why is it, um, is, is that correct? Why, why uh, yeah. So now let's put the for, for loop back again in main, in, in main, put the for loop back with the right ordering of the parameters like um, Yu Yang had. Yeah, put the, for, put, the, put the for loop back. You know, you had the for loop, you had you just commented it out before. No, you, you had it before, it was just commented out. Yeah, so now you can say my screen dot, uh, my screen dot write string at, my screen dot write string at. Uh, and you indent it to yeah, unindent one one level, unindent one level. And, and and you have the column and row right now. Is it is is it swapped around? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh yeah, four five. Um, yeah yeah. So the left thing is increasing. The left thing is increasing. So uh, the the left parameter is increasing. So it's four plus i there. Four plus i. And and then the second uh, the that and. and why? Why is constant? Why is why is why is yes, that works? Why is why constant? And um, we get this uh, totally uh, misordered. Um, why why column plus i comma row works? Right string at column plus i. Yes, of course, x comma y. Right, column is x and uh, y. <laughs> column is x. Column is x and row is y. So that's why you know it's a column comma row and that works. Previously, I think, did we have row comma column in the call? Yeah, previously you had the row plus i. Oh, I see. No, no, no. no. So Something's really funny here. So, you know, that I, uh, for each of those strings, for each of those strings, we just need to go to... Um, or it's, it's working, you know, that code works. It's working. Yeah. Um, oh, well, I see, it works, two comma two. So, wow, uh, why, um, right. so uh, all right. I'm gonna, whatever Yu Yang did, <laughs> it worked, um, but this is this misordering of parameters that I, it was my botch up, okay? So uh, I coded badly by not having, you know, parameters named in the proper order and, you know, in a principled way, that's why I got, you know, completely messed up here. Um, but what Yu Yang did was correct. And uh, and also the other thing that he did was changing the names X and Y to row and column, intuitive, okay? That's what we should have done from, from the beginning. So we've got this now. Uh, so now what we can do is uh, create another frame, right? Create another frame uh, under uh, where inside of main, you can clear out, uh, clear out the rest of main, right? It's just, uh, yeah, clear out all the commented stuff. We don't need all of the common stuff. Right now, uh, under under that uh, in your main, let's create one more picture. My picture two, right? Create one more. Uh, my picture two. Create my picture two uh, under. Yeah, just copy that entire thing, and uh, say vector string my picture two equals. Right, uh, and you can put it right under. Uh, you might. Yeah, we can put above above. Uh, yeah, right under the first one. Right under the first one. Yeah. Right now, uh, call it my picture two. Uh, and and now you can call the first one my picture one now <laughs> and my picture one right my picture one all right now uh, right now you can change this right uh, go to override mode do you have override mode on your keyboard so you don't have to backspace and clean cleanse up and go to override mode and just yeah type type stuff in there um, type a whole bunch of stuff you know different picture we just need a different picture that's all. It looks weird. That's okay. You know, we, 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 eventually all of these frames are going to be changed by what Omar will produce, right? So Omar will produce like five pictures of, you know, a, a person standing like this in the first picture, like this, like this, like this, and finally like that. So he's going to do that and we'll swap these pictures for that eventually. So this is just dust in there. All right. Now uh, make sure they're all the same length. Uh, all the strings should be the same length so that when, you know, uh, it's a it's a box. No, the second second one doesn't, the second line doesn't have a closing code. Oh, the first one also doesn't have a closing quote. Oh, all of the closing quotes are missing. On all the lines, the closing quotes are missing. Yeah, I couldn't 
Yeah, put put it put put it put, put, put the closing to it. I mean, so. Yeah. Uh, you can just put the closing quotes back. You know, put the closing quotes back. Just you know, click on the first line, put the quote, quote back and move it to the right location, and then put a comma after that. Now click on 137. You're trying to figure out a macro to do it in one step. Yeah. I yeah, I don't. Yeah. ID. Yeah, I don't know. You can do that offline. Uh, just, just click on the first line. Click on the first line, 137. Go to the end of the first line. Any one second. Yeah. Sure. Hey, great. Okay. Um, now, yeah. Okay. Now, in our uh, in our uh, online, uh, yeah. After line, after drawing one fifty, right? After drawing one fifty, uh, what we want to do is no, no, no. Now, uh, do a. I think it's a micro sleep. Uh, what is that command we used for sleeping for fifty milliseconds before? I think it was um, the chrono. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have that? Can can you, uh, Erica? Can you copy and paste that uh, in in the chat window or something so Yuyang can pick it up? We'll sleep for, uh, I don't know, let's say we'll sleep for a half a second. That's 500 milliseconds, okay? Um, did you find it? Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, 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 there you go. You just need to copy that. And uh, also we need to include files at the top. We need to include files at the top. Um, I think it is, Chrono, a hash include chrono. And then one more, I think it is, um, hey, what is the other include file we needed? Thread, was it? Yeah, one more, there was one more include file. Yeah, it I think thread. it was include thread. Yeah, okay. Uh, now, uh, before you do, uh, yeah, uh, by the way, uh, line 155 is my screen, not Y screen. Right, my my, my screen. Um, but before we draw that second box, we need to clear the old one, right? So we want to say my screen dot uh, clear bounding box, my screen dot clear bounding box, uh, and then give it the same thing. Uh, my picture one comma two comma two, my picture one comma two comma two, and then we'll draw the second one. Okay, so oh, it's too fast. How 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 long did we sleep? No, hundred milliseconds is too. Uh, make that one second, okay? Make that a thousand milliseconds for now. All right. Now it should print the first one, uh, and then uh, wait for a second, and then clear it and print the second one. Yeah. Yeah, running. Yay! Okay. All right. So uh, <laughs> it actually did work. Okay. Um, did did clear it properly? Yeah, I think so. You did? No, what is that? Zero A at the end. And then zero plus and five and all. What, what is that? Where did that come from? Zero A and plus five and... Um, that is... Hey, what's that? Oh, it was clear. Clear is basically screwing things up, I think. Yes? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So they, 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 we, 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 can, we can fix that. All right. So the clear uh, method is basically messing it up so that um, that's why we're seeing all this junk. Uh, what we need to do is just go to the clear method. I think there's something similar to uh, you know the issues that we fa faced before. We just need to fix clear method. And then we'll see the effect that we uh, desire, which is you know we see the first frame, one second of sleep, and then second frame after that. OK? So let's go to the clear method. Yeah, clear bounding box. And um, and let's do something. Instead of a space, uh, put a capital X. Instead of a space, put a capital X. Now run it. Now we'll know uh, all of the places where the you know clear method is affecting. Why you know? What happened to the? It's not even calling the clear method. All right, so let's go to I the clear method. I, think I would again. just chuck everything to blank, right? If you just do yeah. directly, like, fix my thought, J2. 
uh, applied. No, no, you can't do that because PixMap is a constant. You know, it's it's being given. It's it, the PixMap is a vector that is being passed to you by a reference, which means it is the original from main. Oh. So you can fiddle with that, uh, and that is why we tracked it by const. We said const, meaning main is going to give you the original PixMap. You cannot fiddle with it, but you can take it and put it on screen. That's all we're saying. Yeah, that's what the const keyword means there. Uh, now I think it is probably something to do with uh, again something similar to what Yu Yang did before. Um, uh, yeah, get get rid of the line. You can't change. You can't change one. Yeah, right. Uh, if uh, if it is not, if it is, oh yeah, yeah. no no no. If if it is not equal to space, right? If yeah, if it is not equal to space, no, get, get, yeah, get, if it is not equal to space. But here, oh uh, yeah, there you go. On yeah, there you go. Oh, hang on, clear bounding box. Oh, of course, yeah yeah yeah. All right, so uh, that uh, set pixel at right that set pixel at pix map i comma j that should be just space there. That should just be a space. It should just be a space character. Not that, not a character. We're not drawing the character anymore. We're just drawing the space. Okay. All right. Now I think that should work. Did it work? No. Or why didn't it work? I um, think it's different. Or oh, did it work? The last like characters, like way okay. W A I is missing the E and clear. Clear the screen. Clear the screen. Uh, and then increase the size of the terminal. I think it's a, you know, increase the size of the terminal, the black screen, yeah, grab it up. Uh, yeah, run, run it now. It did something. Something. <laughs> okay, it did something, uh, meaning that it actually did go and change some of those into spaces. Uh, however, it didn't do all of it. Why didn't it do all of it? Okay, all right. Here's what I'm thinking we can do. All right, this is a famous thing that professors do. Is you know the, the rush is left for homework. No, but it's not left for homework. Okay, it's it's not homework. I'll come back obviously, but I think I, I'm guessing, and you can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm guessing that this is an easy bug for you to fix. Basically, you gotta trace this in your head and find out why this why is it not clearing. Okay, maybe it's a corner case or something like that. I am confident that there's enough skill set in this class to basically just figure five minutes, okay? If you can't do it in five minutes, I'll come back and then we'll do it together, okay? I'll give you five minutes just to pour over this code and say, why is it not clearing? Why is it not clearing? And do some experiments saying, hey, let's put some spaces there and, and put some X's there. And, um, oh, by the way, in, in clear, now you can do the X instead of the space there. And let's put the X instead of the space in, on line 112, 112. Let's see where, where, where the X's appear. No X's at all? Oh, yeah. Oh, by the way, you know, this is crazy. Um, this is totally messed up now. It's totally messed up. Um, yeah, yeah, no, no. No, no, it's not a row comma. I think we had a plus I somewhere. Uh, plus I or plus, uh, plus. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, wait a sec. Um, yeah, call plus J. Set pixel add takes X comma Y. So call plus J, row plus I. Yeah, do 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 uh, run it run it now. Okay, all right. So it is it is definitely doing the right thing. Uh, well, not the right thing. It is doing something which is getting in the direction of where, where we want to go. I think we got some numbers mixed up. So I think I think the this this thing is. It's, it's, it's transposed, okay? We just need to, it's just transposed. Uh, why is it transposed? Why is it transposed? Um, for each of the strings, for each of the... No, no, you can't do that. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, 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 no, uh, and then inside of that, you're going to. Post. Yeah, no, it clears. Oh, wow, it, it was transposed. It was transposed, and then we yeah. totally messed up the mathematics there. <laughs> All right, okay. Hey, Yu Yang, thank you so much. All right, so it was basically our math that was totally messed up, okay? The logic was okay, our, our math was messed up. 
Is it working now? Is it so? Is yeah, it close the first? It is. Then, great. Okay. So here's what we want to do. Um, now, for uh, what time is it now? Well, yeah, we got we got a half hour left. Okay. So let's say for five minutes. For five minutes, you guys, uh, no, no no coding for five minutes. Uh, Yu Yang will have the code. Uh, you guys can ask Yu Yang to scroll up, scroll down. Make sure that you pour over the code, understand everything, uh, and then I'm pretty sure Yu Yang understands what's going on. Uh, or there's other people in class too who can under, who understand this. They can. If you don't understand, one of us will be able to help. If nobody helps, you know, I'll come back. You know, I, 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 in fact, I don't know if I can help because you know, obviously, I was uh, stuck on this bug, and Yu Yang was the one that fixed it, right? But you know, if nobody is uh, able to help, I'll come back. I'll I'll also try and you know, one more add add uh, another pair of arms. Uh, hands to this uh, exam. We'll debug it. We'll get to the bottom of this, but uh, make sure we understand this. After this is done, hopefully in five minutes, we'll still have time for this. Omar will have four pictures. Or four, you know, it doesn't have to be four. If you only manage to do two, that's fine too, right? We have these four pictures. Uh, what we want to do is essentially create four vectors, okay? Uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 call it frame one, frame two, frame three. You know, don't call it my picture one, my picture. Frame one, frame two, frame three, frame four. In fact, if you're feeling adventurous, you can even have a vector of frames, right? A vector of uh, of these pix maps is a three dimensional vector. Okay, three dimensional vector. Uh, I can show you, I can show you how to do that later, right? So you're going to iterate, but right now you just say frame one, frame two, frame three, frame four. Show the first frame, which is the man standing like this. Sleep for 500 milliseconds. Okay, sleep for 500 milliseconds. Uh, and then show the second frame. Clear, show the second frame. Clear, show all the four. In, uh, and so you'll see that animation happen in, you know, in a half a second intervals, you know, that person coming up. And after, after the person has got his arm raised like that, you can say, um, hello, alien links, uh, hello from earth, alien links, or something like that, you know, right string ad, you can say right string ad above the person, right? You pick a location, pick a location somewhere on that thing, say, Hello from Earth, right? <laughs> Hello aliens, alien links, okay, aliens. Uh, Hello aliens, right? This is a funny thing, you know, uh, because we're from Earth uh, and we land on a different planet uh, and, and we encounter the beings on that planet, we will call them aliens, right? even though it's their planet and we're there, right? Let's say we're from Earth and you guys are aliens on your planet, okay? Because we humans tend to do that, right? We, anywhere we go, we say, oh, well, we own this land and you're all, you know, foreigners here, okay? So you can say, hello, alien links, we're from Earth, okay? So you can say that in a string at the bottom. Okay, I think that's cool. Uh, you, are you guys uh, jazzed up enough to do that for uh, five minutes or do you want me to participate in that too? I don't think I, I'm needed at, for that because I think uh, Omar nodded his head, he's got the pictures ready. Uh, so you just have, it's just a matter of transferring that to your chat window and copying and pasting in there and have that animation going. I look forward to seeing a really cool uh, short movie, right? A <laughs> three second movie. I look forward to seeing that at the end of this class. And when that's done uh, for homework, what you can do, you can take this. <clears throat> and turn that into a longer movie maybe, right? Uh, or you can do more things. Uh, maybe you, you can show a flower blossoming or something like that. Yeah, you can knock yourself out. You can create a little picture um, using one of those icon editors or something like that, something, right? And create an animation and, and say, here it is. Here's the animation, you can run it. And in fact, what you can do is really, really cool, right? Um, you can actually take the output of this program, store it in a file, okay? Store it in a file. And then when someone just types the file out, there's no program running here, okay? The type the file out, you'll have the animation, except that the, the, because the type, the file is gonna be typed so quick, contents will be dumped so quickly, you won't see the animation, everything will happen fast. We, there is a trick, all right? You can say, print the first frame and then print a whole bunch of slash R or some character, right? Or print the same frame 10 times, print the same frame 100 times. This is, each frame is shown for 100 times, that'll inject enough of a delay, right? Because it'll probably take, you know, a, a, few, um, a thousand nanoseconds or, you know, a hundred nanoseconds to show a frame at, at the CPU level. If you show the same frame a thousand times or a hundred times in a loop, then you automatically have that, you know, um, uh, the delay effect. So even if you, you can produce a file, uh, you can produce a file that you basically cap the file, you know, cap meaning you type the file and, and just, Looking at the file creates an animation on screen, right? I've never seen that uh, happen, but you can actually do that. And you can share that file on Stack Overflow. Say, hey, guys, on Stack Overflow, cap this file and you'll see a man wave at you, <laughs> right? And that is uh, so cool, right? And, uh, because people are only uh, used to looking at animations from running programs. But here, it's not a running program, it's a static file. You just type the file and you got animation, right? And I think that will be really, really cool. And it'll probably even be viral on Stack Overflow, because I don't, I haven't seen that in on Stack Overflow, right? Someone saying, here's a static file, it's a text file. Just type the, dump the file on the terminal and you'll see some animation happening there, 
okay? And that is really cool. I can show you how to do that. All you need to do is just take the same frame, you know, it'll, it'll produce the output. You just have to produce same output 500 times and then produce the next output 500 times. Next output. So essentially it's going to draw the same frame 500 times and then draw the next frame 500 times. So you'll have that delay effect also in, in a text file, right? In, 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 in a program, you don't need that delay. effect. You can get the delay effect by sleep, right? Which is more succinct and compact. So you can do that in sleep. So let's not do the file now. Let's do this. Uh, and I will now turn the laptop around, right? Give it, give, the, give it to you guys. Thank you, Yuyang, right? Thank you. I don't think, you know, with, you did a lot of things today, uh, especially debugging and all. Uh, if you hadn't done that, I don't think we might have gotten this far or completed it, right? Because I was uh, struggling to find out where the error could be and so on and so forth. And you actually went out and, and, and debugged these things. So thank you very much, okay? Uh, I think it's largely because of your effort that we actually got to a completed uh, thing today in class. All right, all right, great, great. So I'm gonna leave it in your hands. If you have a question, just call me. I'll come back and I'll help. But otherwise, uh, I'd like to see an animation in about five or 10 minutes. Everybody okay with this? Raise your hand if you're okay with this, okay? <laughs> you like, like the person that Omar is gonna create. You raise your hand and say, yes, all right? So great, great, fantastic, okay? So uh, yeah, thank, thank you all so much, okay? It's gonna be exciting, I think. I, I'm looking forward to it. All right, so creating an animation. Is it as simple as taking any image or do we need like locations of pixels to like do it in the in the code? Probably the location of pixels, like what well, he was the like the beginning bit editor thing. So you oh good, good. I have something. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me uh figure out a way to share this. Oh, wait, can I share? I can share files here. Let's see. Here we go. Frame one. So, for example, let me put in three frames um, as an example. I only have that. But I was working with a simple 24, 24 square, and these are just screenshots. I don't know how else to export it. But um, this, if you were to zoom in, you could like manually look like at the locations of like, okay, this row, this column. Um, but I don't know if that's helpful or if I can do anything else to like be more helpful. Can you print out an index on the X and Y axis? I can see. I did this on the that uh, Favicon um, or Favicon uh, thing that we were playing with earlier. Let me see. I, have, I still have it open. I just need to find the tab. Where did you go? Okay. So the index. No, it's only allowing me to export it as a... Uh, I think it's called a favicon. Hey, no, no, I don't think you can export it. Yeah, yeah, uh, 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 Omar, um, you just yeah. have to look at this and then cre recreate it in, in inside of your strings. So basically, you just okay. need to have that thing that we did with you know Yu Yang first, and, and then look at this picture and say, oh, I'm going to put an X there, X X X X, or you know, star star star. On on, on the second line, I have three stars um in these columns on the third line i have two stars on those columns as you put it there you actually be able to visually see what's going on and then you'll be able to re recreate the picture inside of your editor oh okay so if we can decide which um pixels to go like we don't even have to do it like perfectly of the this, this square because i think our parameters are not they're not 24 24 right we have more than that yeah, uh, yeah it'll be distorted it'll be distorted but that's okay. yeah that's okay yeah yeah so we'll, we'll keep like the same um when, no, no, sorry, I, I'm not saying that right. Um, you can just start like at a corner. Like imagine like if you start at the foot or um, like the bottom left uh, foot and just work from there. Like, okay, five above that, there's another pixel or the next one after that. I don't know how long that will take. It sounds very lengthy, but um, that that's that's what I'm thinking. Maybe if I take this and screenshot it a little better. So if I were to
Let me send one more screenshot, same thing, but just like close to end. You know, like if this would be the first frame right here, I just cropped it so we can focus on the actual, um, only the actual image here. Now this looks more um well to be more simple because now um if you have if you start at the bottom left of the parameter I'm, I don't I know that um the row the column would be one or zero I think it's one um and then from there. It's going to take forever. Right. I, yeah. yeah, I wish there was a way to like if somebody else could find another like bit, another bit editor that can maybe give the coordinates. Mm -hmm. If we can find that, then I can probably quickly. Yeah, let me see if I can find one too. Yeah. Pixel bit editor. If you're struggling to recreate the picture, um, I mean, you just look at, you can just look at uh, Omar's picture and draw it in, in, in that rectangle that we created in the picture. In, in our, in, yeah, we, you have that uh, rectangle with uh, junk in there, right? That uh, Yu Yang typed in first. You just look at Omar's picture and just erase everything and then put dots in there or put, put stars in there just to recreate it visually. It doesn't have to be exact. It just needs to be you know, suggested. I think that's what we had to do. I'm, I'm still looking for other editors, but none of them are just want to do the simple thing that I want. Yeah, I think the, the right string add function was swapped. That's why the column is over swapped. Yeah, because all you added was the dot length. You added the, like, where the dot length and dot size swapped. Is that what it was that you fixed at the very end? Uh, I fixed it up here. The, this function is wrong. Oh, you were so fast. I just caught, like, the last part of what you did. Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, you're awesome. That's That's great. I can't think, yeah. You just gotta try it. No, you're good. I'm gonna be that fast. I guess what you're doing right now is perfect. 
Yep, starting with the three and then one dot and I hope it's that simple. <laughs> I was thinking that we needed to like actually like choose all coordinates like manually. Random question, but what were the plus signs there for again? No idea. I think get rid of it. Oh, now it was just. It's just a pixel. There it is. Okay, cool. You're so fast, Eugene. <laughs> in a good way. In a good way. That's a that was a compliment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looks like he's doing the disco thing. <laughs> we slipped a disc. Love it though. <laughs> Whoa, nice. Cool. Wait, can you do like the other side? <laughs> As a third frame, <laughs> just mirrored. <laughs> yeah. Like the squid word. The squid word. <laughs> Yang, yeah, I want to be as fast as you. <laughs> be honest, I don't know what you want to do. I mean, I couldn't tell.
Anything good. Oh, yeah, those milliseconds made a big difference. <laughs> oh, my gosh, yeah, make it a gif. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like a little loop thing. Yeah, oh. like a little loop, just like a gif of dancing yes does it work mm, we would have let's see uh, Um, we need to put the eye in there somewhere so it keeps maybe I don't know better better than I mean oh, oh wow so cool even the extra pluses gives gives it an effect <laughs> like it a does. star effect it does <laughs> shine yeah he's glowing too many drugs all right, too, too, too tempting for me to. <laughs> All right, okay. You guys seem to be having a great time. Wow, this is so cool. This is so cool. Right? Uh, hey, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, I got to get rid of the meeting chat window. Um, hey, that is really cool. It's dancing, dancing. <laughs> that is so funny. Uh, but you still have those two pluses on the corners, I think. You can get rid of that. But, uh, but that is, is fantastic. All right. Uh, now you, you have the general idea. Uh, now you know how to. Uh, yeah, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so uh, now you know how to produce longer animations and it, like, uh, how, did, how, did, how, did you, how did you get it going infinitely like that? I thought you only had four frames. You, you added a loop. Yeah, loop. And... Oh, you added a loop? Oh, yeah, all right, like one of those uh, thing, uh, the GIF uh, uh, images. That is a really great idea. Hey, uh, so you know what you should do? Uh, can you record your, okay, increase the size of the console, increase, increase the size of the console um, and, and, and run it. Uh, can you record your screen? Can you can you record a portion of the screen, uh, Yu Yang? Um, can you ca capture not sure. the screen? Hmm? I'm not sure how to do that. Uh, I, thought, uh, I thought in Windows you can uh, do a screen record. Uh, can someone Google uh, to see how we can? OBS, uh, it's going to record everything. Oh, it'll record everything? No, I think it'll also record. Can you record a portion of the screen on Windows? Can you record a portion of a screen on Windows? Uh, I believe it's only, I'm thinking of an extension called, called uh, Screencastify, but I forget if that does a portion. Let me see. Oh, I see. Anyway, so what I was yeah. thinking, um, what I was thinking was, uh, OBS. Oh, I said, certainly this is recorded by Zoom, so we can take a step yeah. out of the Zoom window. But I was thinking you could take, take create a five, uh, you know, five second clip. Uh, a video clip, and you can post it on Reddit, uh, on the on, on our channel, on our uh, CS2B channel, a uh, CS2A channel. Hey, we produced this. We made this animation in class, right? And <laughs> we made this animation in class, and and you can do more now, obviously, right? So you can do that, and then you can also in, insert um, strings, right? So you can have two picture, two two uh, stick men on a lo longer rectangular frame, right? Mm -hmm. And you can talk to each other. And saying, you know, hey, uh, hi, Jack, how are you? Hey, Jill, right? Uh, or he could even say, you know, uh, hey, alienlings, we're Earth, uh, Earthers or Earth, uh, hey, Earthmen or Earth. Uh, yeah. Uh, so that's that's fantastic. Uh, it's really cool. I I, I uh, enjoyed I enjoyed this. Um, thanks in a large part to you guys, okay? Because I don't think we would have completed it if not for uh, you know the group effort of uh, all of you, you know, all of you doing to, uh, you know things together. And um, and uh, obviously, it'll be really cool if someone can share a video 
of this uh, on the Reddit saying, hey, uh, and it'll probably draw more students to next class saying, hey, these guys are doing a lot of fun things in class. I need to go and attend, not absent myself, okay? So uh, I, I enjoyed it. Did you guys have a fun time? Was this a useful exercise today? Yeah, okay, great. Mm -hmm. And I think we also got a chance to uh, play with two dimensional vectors. Uh, I think, I don't know, maybe not. Right. But uh, you can you can take it upon yourself if you want to do a three dimensional vector where you have many frames. Right. Uh, the, in this case, you only have frame one, two, three, four. Uh, but maybe you can have 15 frames. Uh, and and, and if, if you're really inclined, you can even make the frames uh, dynamically generate the frames. Right. Because in a frame, you can say a person is throwing a ball or something, uh, but you don't need the next frame to be drawn by hand. Because if it's thrown by hand, you, you can actually say, oh, the ball would have traveled to the next pixel. So you can actually do that in, programmatically in a loop and all. So some parts of the animation could actually be programmed in. Um, but you could potentially have a vector of many frames, right? Five or 10 frames in, in a vector of frames. And, and then all you have to do is in, in a loop, you say, iterate through all the frames. I show the first frame, sleep, clear. Show the second frame, sleep, clear. And you can keep doing that until you, uh, as long as you have frames in, in, in the vector, okay? So you can do that too. So all of that is, um, is a possibility. It's fantastic, okay? And we're, uh, today we didn't even run uh, late. <laughs> we, we finished on time um, and everything was uh, very nice, okay? I enjoyed the class today. Thank you all so much for uh, treating so me, cool. treating me to this. Yeah, uh, so, uh, all right, thank, thank you. All right, that's, that's all I have to say for today. Next class, what we'll do, uh, we can try We'll we'll do we'll do more of you know methods attaching methods uh, calling by uh, you know passing by reference and all these things. We'll bring them all together slowly. Uh, I think we'll have one more week of just working through these examples so that these concepts are nailed uh, solidly. And then after that, we can... today for the pixel map, we passed that by reference to like dynamic to change it each time, right? Yeah. Um, uh, uh, I'm sorry to. Uh, oh, because we we uh, use today we passed the pixel map by reference, right? Because we had that. Yes, answer. we passed it by reference, but we passed it as a constant reference, meaning I'm giving you the original, but you cannot change it. You can read it, but you can't change it. Mm. That is why the show method. What is it? I don't know what we called it. I think it was show, uh, bounding by show box or something like that. Mm -hmm. What do we call it? Uh, um, yeah, show. Sure, yeah, draw pixel map back. Um, that yeah, gets a constant group. reference. Yeah, yeah. So that cannot change the contents. If you try and change it, the compiler will, you know, have you back. I say, hey, you can't change it. It's a constant. So, um, but it's given to you so you can look at it and say, hey, I just need to reproduce it on the screen and you can do that. Uh, very nice, very nice. All right, maybe I'll do this next quarter too, right? Because you know, I know uh, it worked out beautifully and I think next quarter um, students will thank you, <laughs> right? Uh, when, I, when I do this next quarter, I'll tell them, you know, this was a program uh, basically created by last quarter students, and uh, I thought it was really cool. So I'm gonna, you know, run it more times until I get bored. Okay, so uh, thanks. Have a great weekend. Keep coding. Uh, keep questioning, and uh, and and try and take this to the next level. Okay, try and take this to the next level. I think it'll be fun. Maybe we'll do a game next time using this. Okay, maybe do a you know a game, a graphic interactive game. So you know, two people running towards each other, and whoever grabs something is a is the winner. It's so many things you can do. Oh, you know, uh, Hana did this uh, snake game. I think you did snake game. Yeah, you can do the snake game using this. Using just what we have so far, you can do the snake game. Um, although your SDL may give you more features and more uh, function calls that would have made your job easier. Um, it is just that what we have now will still make it possible. It won't be as easy as using SDL, uh, but certainly it'll be possible. But in the process of doing the snake game using this, you can come up with more methods that you need to add to the screen class and saying, hey, you know, for the screen class, I need to have a, you know, all, all these other things you can add. And, and thereby you can grow the, you know, screen modifying thing into a library of its own. Well, you know, not, not out there for people to use, but it's for a fun thing that people can use in class, okay? It's a library that we developed in class that lets you draw pictures and change and create animations, okay? And we did that in two ways. All right. That's all. Unless you have any questions for me, that's the end of class today. And I will look forward to seeing you all on Tuesday again, okay? Bye.